Hey guys, how's it going? Dude here, I'm back. I've got my own gaff, I've got my own studio. I'm kind of working on it. This backdrop is it's probably temporary, it'll probably change quite a lot, but look, I've got lights that change colour and shit. Mental. I need a black outline for this window here. It's getting quite bleached, so obviously once that's blacked out, these will be like, holy shit, really, you know, in your face with lights and that. But anyway, guys, I'm here today to talk about meal deals. I know I spoke about them a lot in the past. We've done a fucking documentary. Alfie, mate, this has proven to be very difficult. Literally everyone is saying no. Should we be in a video about meal deals, guys? No. Didn't think so. That's fine. No worries. Well, a lot of people are like, well, it's not really a documentary because it's quite short and actually you didn't really discover what the nation's favourite meal deal is. There's a lot of moaning in the comments, a lot of appreciation for what we made as well. I mean, I'm not being funny. If I'm going to put Lozzie through this... Oh, you're right, you're all. Do you want me to get you a spoon? Then it kind of deserves a like, do you know what I mean, at the very least. But yes, that was the meal deal documentary and I really enjoyed it. And so what I wanted to do is I wanted to rate your meal deals. And it just so happens, right, that whilst I was sort of thinking I'm going to do a video where I rate people's meal deals, an article was released, 11,000 people voted on the nation's favourite meal deal. I mean, what are the chances? So I looked through this list. And I have to say, there's some obvious ones on there, but there's also a few that left me absolutely fucking disgusted. Now you could probably take a guess at what the nation's favourite main meal was, yeah? It was a chicken and bacon sandwich, because that's basic, I mean, unless obviously you're a vegetarian or a vegan, of course you're gonna go for, every now and then, the chicken and bacon. It's just a sound sandwich, and I get it, I back it, I've, I've had it many times, so I don't mind that being in the number one spot. It does start to kind of go a bit Pete Song, however. I mean, the drink, for example, I've got a big issue with, right? Because it says Naked Smoothie. Now, I understand Naked Smoothies, you know, people love them and they obviously they're quite expensive, so it's really good to get it in the meal deal. You get that so you get your money's worth, yeah? But the fact that they just have Naked Smoothie, there's loads of different flavours of Naked Smoothie. So why are you only saying, oh, the Naked Smoothie one? That's like saying, oh, Coca-Cola one, but actually you're integrating Coke Zero, Coca-Cola, Coke Cherry, Coke fucking Diet, all the different Cokes, and putting them all in one lump sum. So of course, Naked Smoothie's gonna win if you're just kind of voting for the brand. Close second was Diet Coke, which doesn't surprise me. It's a, it's a, it's a very good drink. I wouldn't Google Aspartame, though if I was you. Now you heard me say earlier, and when I say earlier, I literally mean a minute and a half ago, that there's something on there that disgusts me. And I'll tell you what disgusts me, guys, shall I? Third place on this nation's favorite meal deal was Pellegrino's Sparkling Water. I don't know what sort of fucking Tory nonce you have to be to go for a sparkling water with your meal deal, but I'm not having it. I don't know where the fuck they got these 11,000 people. They just go down to fucking Chelsea and just stand there waiting for all the Tories to walk past. All the people who have just lived with a silver spoon in their mouth, they all went to Eton, yeah? Boris Johnson walked by, the oh, sparkling water. He doesn't get meal deals, let's be honest. But yeah, I, I kind of think they just went for this weird, noncy Tory demographic. By the way, not calling our Prime Minister a nonce. Agree with him or disagree with him, I don't want that kind of heat. Sparkling water getting third upset me. The winner of the snack, I completely get. I've said it many times myself, to be fair. Thai sweet chilli sensations. Solid. It's a solid crisp. I can't knock that, right? I can't knock that at all. So fair play to the snack, fair play to the sandwich. Naked smoothie, not a big fan. I would have personally put a Red Bull in there or something, because again, you're getting, you know, your money's worth, even though I don't drink caffeine anymore. But Diet Coke certainly deserves to be there, but sparkling water shouldn't have even been an option to vote for, in my opinion. But anyway, so that is, a, is an article allegedly answering what my documentary was all about. What is the nation's favourite meal deal? And, and that's kind of what we forgot to answer in the doc. We were so wrapped up in trying to make Lozzy be sick. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed that meal deal documentary. And now, I am going to rate your meal deals. Right, okay. Um... I don't know if this one got the memo on what a meal deal is because it seems like a bit of a piss take one. I didn't even know 
that that Tesco value cola existed. And if I had to put a price on it, I'd probably say that is about 14 pence. I think he's taking the piss here, but we'll roll with it. I mean, beef space raiders, you know, I mean, I'm sure they taste very nice. I've had the original space raiders, uh, but if it was an option for a meal deal, I wouldn't go for it because it's only 20p. So you're probably paying more for the meal deal than if you bought them individually. What's the sandwich then? That isn't real. Surely, I've just Googled it. They did do an, a limited edition Italian range. You could have got a lasagna. Lasagna? Lasagna. I say lasagna. What do you say down in the comments? Lasagna or lasagna? Spell it out phonetically in the comments. I want to see how you pronounce lasagna. But yeah, that's that's diabolical. That I love lasagna. Lasagna is my favourite dish. But I would not put it between two pieces of bread for a sa cold lasagna sandwich that you're a fucking wrong who ever put this in. Right, finally, someone who respects me, someone who's taking this fucking seriously. Honey and mustard chicken pasta. Listen, if I go for a pasta, I'm not lying to you, I'm going for honey and mustard, yeah? It's a fucking solid, solid pasta choice. So I'm rating it right there. Twix white, extra, I mean you got the extra, so that means it's extra big, which means you're getting more money's worth in your meal deal, I respect that. The white Twix, can't say I've actually tried it yet, but I will give it a bash. Twix, Twix I can take or leave, you know? I think it's a bit of an overrated chocolate bar. I might actually do like a snack tier list or something and disgust you guys with my personal preference for snacks. But yeah, Twix White, I'll give it a bash, but you know, I respect that you got the extra there. And then you got a Rockstar Punched Energy. Anyone that drinks Rockstar is probably gonna shoot up a school at some point. And also the amount of E numbers and sugar is that you've probably got diabetes from one can. Rockstar, please don't sue me. Yep, there was, there was always gonna be one. I wouldn't surprise me if this was Stevie putting this in. Alright, I know he gets upset, I'll call him a nonce for the popcorn, but I just, listen, Stevie, I just don't understand it, I won't understand it, popcorn belongs in a cinema, and that's just, that's just my belief. You wouldn't go up to a Christian and say, look, God isn't real, shut the fuck up. My belief is popcorn does, belongs in a cinema, so just leave me alone to my beliefs, alright? That's all I'm going to say about popcorn in this video, I'm sorry. There's the naked smoothie, uh, This that's that's got a flavour to it, although if you'd asked that fucking article, apparently they're all just one generic flavour, but I respect the fact you've got like an £8 smoothie and a £3 meal deal, I do respect the grind. Chicken, bacon and lettuce, there we go, I mean I've slid a bit of lettuce in there for a little bit of substance, a little bit of flavour, but you have actually gone for the premium of meals within meal deals according to that article, and I can't argue with it, and I wouldn't mind a bit of lettuce every now and then for a little bit of crunch, you know, a little bit of freshness, I like it, is that whole grain, that's probably whole grain to you, you're looking after your health and that, I respect that, I fucking respect that, that, you take away the popcorn, because you probably shouldn't be too close to a school. You take away the snack, you got a solid meal there. So I'd probably add like a boost bar or something to that. Again with the chicken, bacon and lettuce. I'll tell you what, I think this article missed off the lettuce. People are fucking gunning for a bit of green. Love to see it. Whisper duo, brilliant. I respect you 10 times more because whispers a fucking premium. Whispers are the one. Listen, if I do that snack tier list video, here's a spoiler for you. Whispers going in God tier. Fucking sue me. Ribena. Ribena blackcurrant. Right. I've had a bad experience with Ribena. Yeah, true story. I was feeling unwell. And I was informed that I should have a hot Ribena. And as soon as I swallowed it, I projectile vomited it back up because hot Ribena should not exist. I know they haven't heated up the Ribena here, but it's Ribena nonetheless. So the meal, solid. Snack, love you for it. Ribena, go fuck yourself. Look, can you take me seriously, please? I'm trying to do God's work here, and you bring me this. Buy now, hummus and a wow. Extra large falafel meal for two. $4.99. I mean, you get a Dr. Pepper, so that's solid. But, and I do like hummus. Falafel is all right. But listen, we're talking about British super... I sound so Brexit. British supermarket meal deals here, please. Jesus Christ. There's no... You don't get any free passes with this fucking falafel shit. Not with me, son. Not with me. Ah, I know... Ah, I know what I just said about British uh, supermarkets. Greg's do technically do a meal deal now, don't they? I, I haven't had a Greg's bacon roll. 
I hope they butter the baps. You know what I'm like with baps. Those of you from the from the fucking festival days, you know how passionate I am about establishments buttering the baps. Don't give me a dry fucking bap, son. Yeah? If I'm ordering a burger, I want that bat buttered. If I'm ordering a fucking bacon and egg roll, I want that bat buttered. Doesn't take long. Knife in the butter spread. That's all I ask. None of this dry bap shit. So if Greg's got a dry bap, I want the establishment taken down. I don't care if they're willing to pay their staff full wages, even if they have to self-isolate with coronavirus. Don't give a shit. Butter your baps. I don't even know if they do or not. So this could be unpropagated slander, but at the end of the day, I'm just taking precautions, right? But anyway, bacon bap, bacon roll, whatever you want to call it. But if you call it a cob, just, just unsubscribe and leave me alone. And a coffee or a tea or whatever, I mean, I'm hoping that's no more than £2.53, quid, you know, because if it is, you haven't actually got a snack with that. So, as a meal deal, you know, you, you stick a cheeky little Snickers there, or you put a little sexy hash brown, then all right, come talk to me. But if it's just a bacon roll and a fucking coffee, no, Greg's. Go fucking make some more vegan shit. Anyway, guys, I've rated some meal deals. What do you think? Huh? What do you think of this sort of content? Should I become a rating meal? That is not going to happen. But anyway, guys, it's good to be back. Thank you for your patience. I really fucking appreciate it. Oh, shit, Robbie fell over. Fuck. Robbie! How long has that been falling over? If that's been down the whole video, I'm going to be fuming. But anyway, thank you so much for watching, guys. I really appreciate it. I've got a Patreon. If you want to become a patron and support me that way, it's an amazing way to do it. The link is down below. There's the join button. There's my streams. I stream so much now on twitch.tv forward slash duty rhino. So please go over there. Slap a follow on that. I stream two, three, four times a week, guaranteed. Loving Twitch right now. So you got the Patreon. There's all, all the links down below. Just go check them out. Go check out these guys, Hobo Jack. Every single month, myself and Hobo Jack are working very hard on a monthly drop, a monthly collaboration. The end of this month, we've got a conspiracy drop. We're going to do two or three shirts related to conspiracies. You're going to love them. It's the third drop we've done. The last drop sold out in 10 minutes. The support was unbelievable. Thank you so much. I hope you enjoy this month's drop as well. I hope you enjoyed this video as well. Cheers guys. I'll see you very soon. I want to become a fucking workhorse. I want to become a machine with these videos. So they'll be coming at you very quickly. Hopefully. No, I'm joking. They will be. Thanks guys. I appreciate you sticking around. Thank you for your patience once again. Sweet one geese.